Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sense here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. First thing first, uh, we finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all for all the support and staying with the channel for almost a year. Now, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe for more useful content in the future. So, this video was requested by a lot of people. In this video, I will show you how you can make your own A rank Shinobi. That is a uh, 150k plus power and or POW if you want to call it this video is gonna be somewhat long and detailed I mean not so long but detailed because there are a lot of things to cover so watch it till the end so that you don't miss anything important so first of all let me tell you this that the POW doesn't really matter as long as your shinobi has good stats stats are all that matters because uh, for example if you can see I have this Gara with me and he doesn't have an ultimate but he is 142k power and his stats are pretty good as you can see if i get his ultimate so then he will be 150k easily without a doubt because uh, a shinobi's own ultimate at level 1 gives like around 12,000 pow so even if i remove one red card from his kit and use his ultimate he will still be 150k so an a rank shinobi looks good i mean you want to call you know a rank is cooler looking the a is silver color and whatnot it looks cool but the what really matters is the stats but anyways people are wondering how to get your shinobi to a rank so here i am so this video has two parts how is pow calculated and how to get 150k pow now i will have the timestamps in the description if you want to watch only a part of a video so yeah so first is how POW is calculated well I did some calculations and came up with this uh, so as you can see defense attack and CP plays an important role in POW uh, HP really is not one HP gives one POW so it's the lowest uh, and other stats like uh, CRI and evasion and all the other stuff really doesn't count as in POW in calculating POW of a shinobi only these stats and the level of the jutsus as well as the level of ultimate and uh, bonus uh, applicable cards are the ones which decide how much pow of a shinobi will get so first uh, every level up of a ninjutsu three star or four star increases power by 500 so if you have a jutsu at level one and you get it up to like level six for a three star jutsu then it gives you an additional 500 into 5 that is 2500 more pow than before same goes for four star but it goes up to level 8 so you will get like 500 into 7 more that is 3500 power more in case of ultimate the power increases 1000 with every level so at level 8 alt you will have like 1000 into 7 that is 7000 more pow with the ultimate now beside these there are some cards which are applicable for bonus for some shinobis for example uh in case of hashirama if i if i remove any other defense ultimate then it uh, re the power reduces to 5700 and but if i remove hashirama's ultimate old ultimate as stat card then the power reduces to 6249 so because why is that because as you can see it is applicable for bonus so the stat the ultimate jutsu or an, any card of any shinobi his particular shinobi gives an additional pow because it is applicable for bonus as it is written here so yeah same goes for shinobi specific stat card which you can buy from the shop they have like applicable for bonus stuff written in the card so if you use that on that particular shinobi then it will give more pow as compared to other shinobi so this was how the pow of a shinobi is calculated so now coming on to the second part of the video how to make your shinobi a rank that is 150k power now the thing is a red shinobi like uh, kabuto is hard to get up to a rank not impossible but hard it's tough to as compared to other colors of shinobis and especially for f2p players now i'm not gonna go into the details we will catch up on that some other time so i am taking hashirama here as an example to show how to get him to a rank so first 
you have to max out all the abilities of any shinobi you want to max so as you can see there are some pretty good abilities in here for example these these one uh, some of them increase defense by 1600 some of them increase defense some of hp some attack so these abilities you need to max out so that your shinobi has the maximum potential so that's the first step now second step is max out all his jutsus so i am using all his four stars which gives me an additional pow as compared to three stars because they go up to level eight three stars go up to level six so max out all the four stars you have four stars or three star or any jutsu you have on a shinobi to get the additional pow so the third thing is using bonus applicable stat card so for example uh, i am using his new ult so i am using his old ult as a stat card so as you can see if i remove any other defense ultimate yellow ultimate from his kit then it reduces the power to 5700 but if i remove his his own ultimate stat card then it reduces 6249 pow it's because it says here applicable for bonus so uh, any shinobi who has his own ultimate as a stat card will give more pow to him so sometimes there are multiple applicable for bonus for example itachi we have now three itachi witchers in the game so any of their ultimates will give bonus to any of the itachi so yeah now fourth thing is uh increase level of ultimate if possible so i have this one at level 5 so you might say now that why should i synthesize an ultimate instead of using a stat card the thing is if you are using uh, as stat card it will give like 500 more pow as compared to if you synthesize it for example if you have two copies of any jutsus and you, you synthesize those then it will go up to like level 3 so and level 3 ultimate will give you like 2000 additional pow but if you use them uh, use that one card as stat then it will only give you like 500 more pow so it's really useful that you use uh, the old cards old ultimates as stat cards that might not work with the for example if you have like hashirama's uh, level one ultimate and you have two more copies and you are using them stat cards so i would advise not to do that because hashirama's ultimate uh, gets better with every level so yeah you might want to synthesize hashirama ultimate near the new one but if you have the old one then use it as stat cards same goes for any shinobi for example here hokage naruto if i have the new ultimate then i will use these two as stat cards instead of synthesizing them into one because there is no point in synthesizing this old ultimate because i'm gonna be using the new ultimate on him so yeah so now fifth thing is use the roundup tool of that shinobi if there is any or the new five star tools from factory so if that shinobi is introduced with a roundup tool do grind for it and you can also use the new factory to craft these new five star tools which are really awesome i mean some of them if you have if you get decent stat on the tool then you can get your uh, decent amount of pow to your shinobi so yeah these were the five things which you can keep in mind if when getting your shinobi to a rank so now let's remove all the cards and go step by step to get him to a rank so i have removed all the cards on hashirama and as you can see i have maxed out abilities the first point is max out all the abilities and the second point is um use all max out all the jutsu so we have all the jutsu maxed and the ultimate is level 5 so now the third point was use bonus applicable cards so the bonus applicable cards are these two these two stat cards so now he has 121k now the fourth point was increase the level of ultimate so it is already level 5 so okay we did that now fifth point was to use the tools now let's fill up these slots first so if you have stat cards you can use those as well i am just showing you the ultimates here because most of most of the people don't have multiple copies of stat cards which we got for free so i will use the just ultimate stat cards here so these four now he is at 144 now we just need to put some tools now the fifth one was to get some decent tools now i will select say these two so yeah it is done so as you can see he got to 150k so because these tools which we get from factory 
are very decent i mean if you get them up to decent stats they are very useful and they are helpful for the shinobi as well as they get like they increase the pow by a certain amount so yeah so just confirm yeah okay so here here is our hashirama with 150k power now you can use this stuff again on any other shinobi you want so for example we have like itachi with us here now instead of these tools maybe i will use these ones or hashirama tool yeah, yeah so if i use these tools he will definitely get to 150k rank 150k pow but as i said earlier uh the pow doesn't matter if i prefer these stats instead of 150k a rank because uh, the shinobi should be able to do his job doesn't matter if it's b rank or a rank so i gave this him this kunais and this uh the metal rod tool because his jutsus are released and i want to give him as much as increase in pow of the jutsu the this one release nature pow so I am using these so I can easily get him to 150k but I am I have decided not to do that maybe if I get some more copies of stat cards then I will do it but as of now I am keeping him like this he is he is decent as it is no need to get him to A rank Be besides if I use these tools on him he will get to A rank but he will use the you know resistance POW sorry green release POW which was given by this kunai and this tool so same goes for any other shinobi now same goes for this six path naruto as you can see if i use his new world instead of the old one he can easily go up to 157k because the new world is at level 7 the stats doesn't change whether you use the old ultimate or the new ultimate but the pow changes but as we all know that his old ultimate has better range and defense especially so i'm gonna go with this one even though it's level one so that's what my point was that you have to look at the stats not the pow of a shinobi because that's all, all that matters so yeah so guys that was it i tried to cover all the main stuff in this video i don't know if i am forgetting something or not but i'm sure that this will give you an overall idea so sam is going on so i am not able to make new videos as much but i will make sure to make them as soon as possible so we hit 1000 subscribers so i'm gonna announce some other stuff after this sam so stay tuned for that make sure to follow my social medias link in description if you are new to the channel do subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any video if you like the first video give it a thumbs up and a comment until next time sayonara <laughs>